What's happening folks? This is Eli with EH Tutorials and today I actually want to take you into East Boston. It is a neighborhood out of Boston and um, I just want to give you like a little drive um, and maybe give you some information uh, regarding uh, that part of Boston. So let's get started. So I first want to tell you some of the good things about East Boston and for me one of the major things that I really love about East Boston is that it's so close to Chelsea but also if you're living in the other part of Boston you pretty much can get here if you take the tunnel and you're literally here now uh, this neighborhood is you know it's pretty much everything is compact so if you're looking for a big apartment or a big backyard and lots of parking and all that stuff you're probably not you probably shouldn't be you probably shouldn't be looking in East Boston because it's a very compact place the apartments you know you can get an apartment most apartments are 400 to 600 700 square foot but what's nice about it is though that the, the city, you know, the part of the city is actually pretty close to the downtown Boston area. You can literally take the Orange Line, which is the MBTA, uh, the, the basically the, the subway train station that you can take into the other parts of Boston. And what's nice about it is it's a couple of stations around. So you have your Maverick station, which you're going to be driving to. I'm going to show you uh, Maverick station. You're also very well connected to the airport so if you're a traveler if you're a flight attendant or you're a pilot and you want to live near the airport this is a great place to live because it's right i mean literally you're only five minutes from the airport right here from this area so um you know it's a, it's a nice little area and one of the nice things about it is that you have um a lot of great food in the area you have um all these different re restaurants you have colombian food you have dominican food you have a lot of restaurants, pizza restaurants, I mean just so many different places that you could eat. If you're looking for a burrito, you know, there's there's lots of places here for burritos and um if you go to this also Brazilian restaurant called Oliveiras, I'm not sure. One of the major stops that we're gonna show you in a few seconds is gonna be Santabio's pizza. It's one of the best pizzas in Boston. I believe it's actually the best pizza in Boston and it's rated I mean people come from all over the place to get this pizza to cut you know, they they really come to East Boston for that. Even though it's Boston, um, you know, it's small, it, it does have a charm, you know, so if you're looking for city life, um, you're definitely gonna, gonna like it, and like I said, one of the, I just wanted, you know, to say that it's one of, the, it is one of the, the more safer parts of Boston, believe it or not, I mean, it's, you know, pretty walkable, you don't have to worry about getting mugged, you don't have to worry about your car getting scratched, or people acting too crazy, of course, it's, you know, like any, anywhere else, there's always um, crazy people, doing different things out there but one of the things that you know one of the charms of these Boston houses is that it's relatively safe. In this area of Chelsea Street you're gonna see a lot of bodegas, different little restaurants and things so you're gonna see that there's you know there's a lot of variety for people if you're living in this neighborhood and you know if you live here and you um if you're looking for a drink or some water um, or anything, you, you know, you can, uh, some, some potato chips, you're gonna find places over here that you can buy things, you know, there's little bodegas around and, um, once you cross this little, this little, uh, this under this little bridge area here, you're gonna see some Tarpius pizza, but if you take a ride, that takes you right into 90, and you can actually make a connection to, um, I believe it's 93. So you're basically near the highway, so if you need to go anywhere, this is a great place for that. Of course, parking in East Boston is one thing, you know, it's especially in this area, the Maverick area, which is basically where we're, we're kind of at, near the airport, Maverick area. Um, the parking situation is a little difficult. Um, they do have a lot of resident parking, so you need, you need to have a sticker uh, to be able to park here. But they do have some parking, like two hour parking, so that's always nice. But you know, like any city area, there's always something going on, and so East Boston is a pretty busy area, and it's great for college students. If you're living, if you're gonna go to college here, this is, you know, if you go to college in, in Boston, you want to live here because it's, one is relatively safe. Um, there's always uh, real estate and people renting, and as you can see here on the left side, you see some type of pizza. If you see the line of people waiting, that's. You know, this, like I said, one of the most popular pizza places in the Boston area. If you're traveling, you know, if you've never been to Boston, if you're coming into Boston, you're looking at this video, make sure to check out Santapio's Pizza. Um, it's just, you know, you're gonna love this pizza. Um, 
trust me. Um, but yeah, as you drive through here, you're gonna see more of an urban setting. We're gonna try to go into Maverick Station, which is the MBT A train station or subway station, if you will. And uh, so this is, you know, it's pretty much the central area of, of Boston. There's lots of businesses. There's a hospital right there. It used to be a funeral home right here on the left side. But yeah, you got your bodega. There's a little store. You have a 7-Eleven in the area. You have a Dunkin' Donuts. Chinese restaurant, I believe. There's also a, um, what do you call it, a, a Burger King as well, if you're into the burgers and stuff. Uh, there's a Mexican restaurant here on the left side. Um, I think of a Brazilian store. I think it's like a Brazilian grocery store. I'm, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of stuff in here, you know, different services, uh, Metro PCS, and all that cool stuff, so you can go in if you're looking for stuff. Um, on the right side, if you see the station, this is the Maverick train station that was redone about a few years ago. It looks, this looks so different back in the day, I remember. Uh, but it's changed so much, and um, it's a good change. There's a lot of nice things here that we can definitely see that they've upgraded this neighborhood a lot. Uh, with the addition to the East Boston Health Center, I believe that's which is what it's called, yeah, you know, you have your local medicine here. You can actually see a doctor right in the square. Um, and there's actually a good, good amount of parking in this area if you're looking for some parking. Again, I want to remind everybody here that this, this area here, the parking is actually um, two hours, so make sure that you're parking, you move your car once it's been less than two hours because the meter mates are hot over here. They will give you a ticket if they have to. I've actually seen it done to people. Um, but we're going to drive over here, we're actually going to take you to where the projects used to be. Technically the projects are there now, but they've been upgraded, um, it's called Maverick Landing, and this is where the um, the projects were back in the day. They tore everything down and they rebuilt everything, and it looks really nice. Um, I believe they were also sending, selling condos to people, uh, low income condos for a while. I think they sold everything out already, but uh, you know, they, this is where they built, the, this is where the projects used to be, this is a very dangerous area back in the day and now it's a lot better now you, now you can walk here and you don't have to worry about you know crazy things happening to you but i know that this area had a lot of different shootings going on i remember um there were different gangs over here i don't want to mention any gangs but um there were some gangs over here and this has um like i said it, it has changed a lot because you don't really see it i know that sometimes there's shootings and things going on in this area because um you know it, it does happen but it's not as common as, as you would think, you know, back in the day it was, it was really crazy in here. And, the, and these buildings were so bad, you know, I mean, it was just like, they were so old. They needed a, an upgrade and it was nice that they did it because it is a nice neighborhood. And, it had, you know, I guess, and, and one thing that I can tell you is that this neighborhood has been gentrified to a certain degree. So, um, you're kind of seeing like a gentrified, uh, you know, East Boston pretty much. Um, but these apartments are nice. Um, people can actually rent them at market value. I mean, if you go to apartments.com, they're gonna there's some apartments that they have set aside for people that want to rent and want to work in, in the city of Boston. You know, so it, because this neighborhood is so close to Maverick uh, train station, they're pretty expensive. I mean, I, the last time I checked, I think one apartment there, a studio apartment, I think 700, 600 square foot, I think it is, it was going down for almost $1,000. And I think um, the three bedroom, and I, and I don't quote me on this because these prices do change from time to time. So, but the last time that I checked, the, the prices over there for a two, two bedroom, I mean, you're looking at, I, I believe it was 2200, 2300, and, and then, you know, if you're going for a three bedroom or even more, you're going up in the 3,000 and whatnot. So, and the reason these apartments are expensive, again, they're close to the city. They're so close to everything. I mean, it's so centralized. People don't realize how, how close it is to Boston. And people think, oh, it's a tunnel. There's a tunnel to get here, but there's a lot of stuff here. And, you know, you can travel in back and forth. You got the train. You got, you can go into Revere, uh, which is the next town over. Um, and you can go um, right into other parts of Boston. You can go to the North End. I mean, it's, it's not that far from the North End. Um, especially if you go to the aquarium station, you're right there. So you can take the train in Maverick and go to the aquarium and you're in the North End, which is one of the most expensive parts of the city of Boston right now. I mean, the apartment over there is 3K. Yeah, it's a small apartment. I mean, I've seen it. Um, so 
you know, it, it is a nice area, and it, it you know, it's gone through different people, different um, people that, are, that have lived here. You had the Italians um, back in the day. Still, there's a, a good, um, good Italian community here in, in um, East Boston. Um, but East Boston has different neighborhoods. I believe one of them is Eagle Hill, and there's the Maverick area, which we were just here at. And um, there's also the Orient Heights area. So it's it's pretty different. It's pretty big. People think East Boston is small, but it's not. It's it's pretty big. Um, so right here we're here at the, um, the little plaza, and this plaza a lot has gone through some renovation as well. You got the expressions, the copies, the some other some copies. There's also a CVS, a Pollo Campero, um, AutoZone, I think. You can go to AutoZone. And uh, I have a McDonald's if you want to go to McDonald's. Um, oh, and there's also a Marshall's, I remember now. It's a Marshall's scene from here. So you have a lot of stuff in this neighborhood, you know, if you're, if you're looking behind, all the way behind me, there's a, there's a, there's a shop. So you can buy um, your groceries there. You have the shop and all these multiple stores um, around. I believe this is the only supermarket that we have in East Boston. You know, other, other than that, everything else is little stores. Again, there's not a lot of space for people for, for big businesses to come on, and you know, businesses like any other supermarket, like a stop, stop and shop or anything like that, or even a Whole Foods. There's just no no space because this is an area where you know it's so compact. Everything, all these buildings are old and they're tiny. You know, it's a very you know, it's, how do you say it? it's a very immigrant. Um, it's a very immigrant neighborhood. A lot of immigrants come here and uh, they transition and they go into bigger neighborhoods later on as they progress in life. So there's a lot of, you know, it, it's one of these neighborhoods. It's kind of similar to Jamaica Plain in a way because you see it, you see a group of people coming in and then they, they stay for maybe 10, 30 years and then they move out and they, they go out to other places and new people come in and buy or or rent, you know, so it's, it's, it's always, it's always changing, and, and I like it, you know, there's always different people in the neighborhood, so, um, you know, it's, that's one of the fun things, but yeah, you have a really good market right here on the left side, great sub, if you're looking for a sub, um, so you have, you know, a lot of different stores, like I said, a lot of local restaurants, like Roy's, and, well, I, will, I wouldn't say Roy's is a restaurant, but it's more of a, um, another sandwich place, if you're looking for, um, fresh, cold cuts, this is a nice place to go. Um, they have great sandwiches, like I said. And you got your gas stations. You don't have that many gas stations, believe it or not, in East Boston, especially in the Maverick area, because again, there isn't that much space for built businesses to build. You got your post office, and you have the police station here on the left side. This is the, the, the police station um, for the Maverick area. On the right side, you have the post office, of course, and you got a couple of banks right there and businesses. The local uh, stores, of course. Um, so as you can see, you have the Santander Bank, and you have restaurants. We were we were just here um, about a couple of minutes ago, but I do want to take you into, um, I believe it's the Bremen, Bremen area, Bremen Street. Just to show you some more um, parts of East Boston. If you want to see a second video, and you want to see the, um, you call it the Orient Heights area. Um, I can definitely do that. I just want to make sure you guys. I want to see how how this video does, of course, and you know, make sure to give it a like and share with your friends. And we'll um, we'll definitely try to try to do a, a second video showing the other parts of East Boston because East Boston is huge. People don't realize it. It's a pretty big place. It just looks like it's just far away from the other parts of Boston, you know. So um, I'm very excited to to drive around the city and this part of the city, I would say. But yeah, we're gonna take a left um, right in, in this area here, and I believe this is called Bremen Street. And I just want to take you into these other parts of East Boston that um, it was developed. Um, it, I actually didn't know too much. I didn't really go around that area as much um, when I did come to East Boston. But it was an area that you know it's, it's kind of like a waterfront there. It's really nice, and you can actually look. Um, you can actually look at the other parts of Boston through um, through that area. And it's a it's a nice um it's a nice refre refresher because it, you know when you live when you live in East Boston or you or you're in East Boston you kind of think that you're you're not in Boston believe it or not a lot of people that live in East Boston 
don't think they live in Boston. They think they live in their own thing because it feels like its own thing. You know, you come here, you don't see. Um, it's just it's it's just a different. Um, you get a different vibe, and even the people that that are from here, they give you a different vibe. We're gonna take a, a ride over here on this street. I forgot what the name of this, this street is, but uh, we're gonna show you and you know just a, some of these like really expensive. You wanna see expensive apartments? We're gonna show you now. These apartments are crazy expensive. I mean, I think. You know, we were talking about Maverick Landing earlier, and Maverick Landing is expensive, but this is this is big. This is like this is luxury condos right here, um, luxury apartments. Part of that uh, gentrification that we were talking about here. And so this is a different area, and so here apartments are ridiculous. Like I said, I mean, but you get you know you're paying for you're paying to get this view. Look at this view. You got the other parts of Boston right here. See. It's relatively safe, it's near the water. You can walk to the train station, like I said. And so, you know, people that are the, the one working boss and executives, they're all living in this area. This is an area, like I said, that you could buy, you, 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 it's gonna cost you at least $4,000 for an apartment, you know, to rent it. And you're gonna get a big apartment, you know? You're not gonna get like a 700 square foot, you're gonna get, you know, over 1,200 and, and plus, you know, for a nice apartment here. It's gonna cost you, like I said, but, it, you know, you get your little, um, you basically it's a waterfront property, you know, so they are expensive, you know, very, very expensive. Uh, so, but I said, you know, it's more luxury living, it's more luxury condos. So, you know, this is, that's what you, that is what you're paying for, uh, that luxury to be in, in a good neighborhood. And, you know, as I said earlier, the crime statistic in East Boston, you know, they do happen. I mean, I think there was a hate crime about, um, half, about like, a couple of months ago some issues happened there but in most cases you're going to be relatively safe and i think you know it's not the same thing for example but i don't mean to say that bad about dorchester um and even parts of jp uh, but it's just you know it's different because the crime rate here is it's not at the same level it's just you don't you know it's, it's not a, it's, it's not as big you know now, i don't mean to offend our dorchester roxbury people but there is, you know, you could, you know, if you're if you're in this neighborhood enough, you understand, you know, that you can walk. I've walked this neighborhood, you know, for the past 15 years. Um, I've done business here, and I've never felt unsafe, you know. So, but I felt unsafe in the other parts of Boston, and I don't want to say names. So it, it's it depends on, on on the individual, of course, too, you know, and who you are, but. I would say, you know, if you're looking for a nice place to live, a safe place, you, if you don't mind the compact part, you know. Right here on the left side, we have Italian Pizza Express. It's one of the best pizzas. I believe it's number two of the best pizzas in Boston. Uh, I mean, not Boston, but I would say, well, I would say Boston, of course, yeah, because, uh, you know, it's, a, it's world famous. I think Guy Fieri was on, he did a show about it. I think he was on one of those episodes, he was on there. If you go to the pizza place, you'll see that they have a um, an actual like photo of Guy Fieri, the owners there. But we're over here, we're um, Sumner Street. This is Sumner Street over here, and we're just driving to show you the more residential part of it. We're hoping to um, to end this video soon and showing you um, the other parts. But I, I I'm not gonna take you into Orion Heights. Like I said, if you want to see Orion Heights, definitely make a mess. If you leave a, Leave a message, leave a comment, and turn this video below, and we'll try to make a video um, with Orion Heights. It's a little hilly up there, so I do want, I do want to make it. Um, but it all depends on how much views this video gets, of course, because I don't want to make a video that's getting too little views. If you know, if, if his boss is not that attractive, I don't, you know, I don't want to make another video about Orion Heights. But you never know. I may, I still may do it anyway. But um, I have to think about that. Again, it's all really how this video does. We're gonna take a left here, and we're gonna take a left on Maverick Street, which um, it's a pretty, it's a pretty big street actually. You know, along from here, I think there's a bus that goes in. I think there's about two or three buses that, that go around East Boston. Um, you know, so to pick up the local people that want to take the train um, all the way to, you know, they want they actually want to take the subway. So, yeah, this is Maverick Street over here. 
And um, you know, so East Boston is, is very historic. You know, a lot of people don't realize that about East Boston, but East Boston has a lot of interesting people that are from this area. Um, so uh, let me see if I can find a few that I could mention. And I have a list here somewhere. Um, like for example, Frederick Mansfield, who's the 46th mayor of Boston. He was um, he was a uh, he, he was born in this area here. Um, trying to think who else. Let's see, um, Patrick J. Kennedy, who's the grandfather of John F. Kennedy, is from this area. They were doing some, they were doing business over here back in the day. This is, you know, pretty important people when you think about it. Um, so, you know, you have Thomas uh, Buckley, I think his name is. He's from, he's, he's from this area. He's, a, I think he was an auditor. Um, so, you know, you, you got your good amount of people in this area. And, you know, like I said, in, in, uh, there is an East Boston High School, so if you plan to have kids um, and live here, if you have kids and you want to move into this area, there, there is a high school. Uh, there's also a middle school, and uh, you also have a couple of elementary schools as well. So, you know, you have um, you have that part covered, and this is the Boston Public School system. So. You'll be getting um, your kid in the in the VPS, which is one of the most historic, um, one of the oldest. Um, I think it is the oldest school system in, in the country. So that's that's always nice, you know. We're going back here into uh, back into the Maverick area. The Maverick is a central area that we have here in East Boston, and this area, like I said, it's a um, it's where everything, most of the business stuff gets done. And, in East Boston, um, this building on the right side. I remember when they were doing a renovation for it, and they made it into some type of business building. People could rent spaces in there, and um, you know they could they could have their little office or whatever. And they have businesses in there, and people pass by and they they advertise. And so, if you want to get something done, if you're a technician or if you're you know if you want to be um, you know if you if you have some kind of idea that you want to do, it's a great place. As you can see, it's knowing and this is gonna probably make us cut the video a little shorter. Sadly, because you know from Boston it starts to snow. It's um, you're pretty crazy over here. So I'm gonna take a right over here on the um, Chelsea Street um, area here, and we're gonna drive down. Um, we're gonna try to show you as much as I can to get you into uh, the tunnel, but I'm not gonna go inside the tunnel because. I mean, I am going to go, but I'm not, it's not going to be in this video because this video is already getting kind of long and I want to make sure that I, um, I, I didn't want to do like a full video, you know, of East Boston. I wanted to see what people thought about it and if they wanted to see um, a second part of it. Of course, you know, in the next video, I'll take you into Bennington Street, I'll take you into Saratoga, I'll take you into all those little streets that are up there and in the Orient Heights uh, section of East Boston. But here we're back in here, some Tavius on the right side. Again, great pizza if you're coming into Boston. Make sure to come here. People wait in line for this pizza. I mean, that's how much people like this pizza. They wait in line outside. And this is not even uh, with, with uh, the pandemic. I mean, people in this area, even before the pandemic, they were still going in and getting the pizza um, at some time here, so the pandemic didn't really cost anything. We're gonna take a left here, and this is gonna take us into what would be the tunnel. So the tunnel's gonna come, and um, that's pretty much it. So signing off, uh, this is Eli with the H Tutorials. Make sure, um, again, to like this video, share with your friends. Um, if you're interested in more about, about Boston, Definitely leave a comment and let us know which we'll how to make the video and tell you more about it if you, if you want to know more information from a local. Take care folks.